It's time now for the big story. And tonight, as the UK government aims to crack down on the Wild West cosmetic surgery industry, one German model has spent £130,000 on making her legs longer. Whilst ministers in the UK have launched a consultation into plastic surgery after complaints after botched jobs spiralled, 24-year-old Teresa Fisher has been left with huge regrets following an operation to add over five inches to her height. So has plastic surgery finally gone too far? Let's get the view of TV star Kim Woodburn. Kim, great to have you back on the show. What do you think about this lady that's had her legs stretched by five inches? Well, look, my dear, she was five foot six and a half. If you look at a photograph of her, she's a very fragile build. I mean, at five foot six and a half, she was a bit tall. She's got the smallest shoulders, the smallest frame. So to consider having those legs increased by five inches, she looks ridiculous. She looks like olive oil. It's as simple as that. Look how tiny she is. Why would she want those legs? And you know, she said her husband got her to do it. No, dear, you, you don't have to get it done. She's now, what, 31-ish. He was 28 years older than her. They're no longer together. She looks a freak. And her tiny little shoulders on a five foot 11 and a half frame, she looks hideous and she should have known she does. I don't blame the husband, I blame her. But of course, he does make, he's, he, what do you make? He makes some um, films, doesn't he? He makes, he's a filmmaker. So I go, he's got a few bob in the bank. And it's very likely this young girl married him because he's got a few bob, my dear. I mean, I'm going to be blunt. They marry these old boys for their money and they're at their beck and call anything to keep you and I could be in the money. The girl's a damn fool. She looks terrible. And she went in. She got three inches put on her legs. She darn well goes back and gets two more. For, I mean, I'm a very tall lady, but my shoulders, I've got shoulders like a prize fighter. I mean, look at the size of them. Because I'm a big woman and I'm tall, and but I'm the bill for being tall. But this mm. tiny little frame on those big spindly legs. My dear, do you know what I question also, you know, there, Mark? These doctors that would do it. Yes. You know, we talk all this sort of thing. You know, these cosmetic surgeons are fully trained. Some of them are absolute money grabbing pigs. Let's face it, that girl goes to you. You look at her frame and you think, my love, you're five or six and a half, tiny little, that, that, not short. We will not do it. Money changes hands, 130 yeah. grand, they'll do anything. You know, I think I blame them as well. They've no ethics whatsoever. Mm. The, the trained plastic surgeons are money-grabbing beggars. And I know I have plastic surgery and I spent a fortune and nobody made me do it. But by God, these Harley Streeters are ripping people off terribly. Why don't the government do something about that and control some of those prices? They are hideous. Uh, now, Kim, and, let me interrupt you briefly, if I can, Kim, which, which is to say that uh, I don't understand why you have plastic surgery, because you cannot improve on perfection. Could I ask you what you had done? Well, I'm going to tell you this. Um, look, I'm 81. Give me a break, dear. And people say, oh, I, uh, go old gracefully. I don't want to look at my figure that looks like a, I'm sitting over a plate of trumpets, dear. I don't want to see flesh hanging in between my legs, didn't hang there, and my arms are waving in the wind. Now, I choose, because I've got a few bob, you've got to have a few bob. I choose to, I'm a long time lying in a coffin, rotting and looking disgusting and smelling. While I'm on the earth, I'm going to do as much as I can to look lovely and unwrinkled. Now, I'm not saying it's for everybody. It's not for everybody. I've had a half facelift, a neck lift, eyes done, uh, oh, God knows, uh, this, that and the other. And my love, I'm happy with it and I can afford it. But I still say mm. it's robbery. The yeah. government needs you. And if the government controlled Harley Street. I'm saying Harley Street as an example. You wouldn't get met more people. You get less people going to these untrained salons. I know. But if you speak to those people, I know they say, Kim, look, I've got a couple of kids. My eyes are driving me mad. This girl can do them for 250 if I go to Harley Street, it's 5,000. Now, I know maybe she's foolish, but bless her, they trouble her. She shouldn't do it. But no. five, the five, come on, it's, it's going to go on while these experts who know their job continue ripping us off because they are ripping us off. You're, you're completely right. Uh, and it's very unethical that these plastic surgeons are willing to do these procedures. Uh, and also, some people are going to Turkey 
and coming back minus a kidney. It's truly horrific. Uh, Listen, Kim, you can be honest with me. We've developed a rapport. You've been on the show now many times. Um, I'd like to ask you, do you think there's anything that I should have made bigger? Well, my experience of you, dear, is that everything is as big as it should be and more than satisfying. That's all I will say. There's, Kim there's Whipper. No, this, in, from here, dear, no complaints at all. You're more than satisfying and all your parts are big enough, dear. Don't start messing with them. I'd be very unhappy if you did. And a quick word. Thank you for the approbation. Um, A quick word. uh, Just a few seconds, if you can. Amanda Holden, a wonderful talent. Uh, She's an actress. She's a radio presenter, reality star uh, and a very beautiful woman. She's middle aged now. She's got kids and she received abuse from the social media influencer, Andrew Andrew Tate, who said you're too old to be posing in a bikini. Uh, Act your age is what he said. He attacked. He attacked. Now, she's 52 years of age. She's got kids. Your reaction to uh, Amanda being attacked by this bloke? Well, Andrew Tate, the scum of the earth, dear, is under house arrest in Romania for sex trafficking. A vile, vile, filthy creature. And I'll tell you something. Amanda Holden is 52. Her body is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, dear. And if I had a body like that, dear, well, I didn't have a body 52 like she's got, dear. Now, she looks lovely, and I'd put a bikini on if I had that figure. She looks lovely. Good luck to you, Amanda. Keep doing it, dear. Yes. Uh, Kim, it takes a beauty to know one. It's always such a treat to have you on the show. Come back and see me soon. Don't get the surgery for a bigger bit, dear. I'm more than happy with what you've got. And I'll quote you on that. The wonderful Kim Woodburn.